Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the second type of multi monostable multi vibrator, which is nothing but emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator. In the beginning of this monostable multi vibrator, I told you there are two different types of monostable multi vibrator that we can design. One is collector coupled monostable multi vibrator, that is what we have seen so far, and the second type is an emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator where the emitters of the transistors are connected together instead of collectors the emitters of the both transistors q1 and q2 are connected together and grounded through a resistor re see here this is the circuit configuration of emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator if you observe the circuit diagram the first transistor previously the transistor is connected in the backward direction whereas the base of that transistor is connected to the collector of this q2 transistor it was the previous design earlier design which was known as collector coupled monostable multi vibrator but here as it is emitter coupled the emitters of both the transistors q1 and q2 these two are connected together and connected to ground through an emitter resistor re through an emitter resistor re so when we are having a resistor from emitter to ground there exists a voltage drop across this resistance re because some current flows however at any time one of the transistors may come into on state whether q1 or q2 so whenever a tra on transistor is there definitely some current is flowing through the resistor through the on transistor so that current when passing through a resistor it provides a voltage drop so this voltage drop ve is acting as a biasing for this particular circuit okay now see the configuration the output of first transistor is connected to the input of second transistor output of the first transistor is connected to the input of second transistor that means the on and off conditions of the first transistor will make the on and off conditions of the second transistor and the overall output we are taking from the output of second transistor see in any multi vibrators we generally consider four outputs okay so four outputs are nothing but from four, two collectors and as well as from two bases now in addition to this connection from output of the first transistor to the input of second transistor we are giving the first transistor base at the input so the input is given at the first transistor base here the input is a positive going triggering pulse in the previous configurations we have seen a negative going triggering pulse that changes the state of the transistors but here we are taking the change in the emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator is one is the coupling another one is the pause to going triggering pulse okay pause to going triggering pulse we are giving in the emitter coupled configuration remember this point okay so this pause to going triggering pulse we are giving at the input of the first transistor q1 so base of the first transistor q1 along with this a triggering input there exists a positive feedback from re from emitter through re to the input of this particular transistor okay so this is the positive feedback from emitter of this two transistors and re and then it is connected to the input of the first transistor okay this network is a positive feedback network okay so the equation condition nothing but a stable condition is always first transistor is in off state and second transistor is in on state okay so i will write here few points what we have discussed so far in emitter coupled <coughs> in emitter coupled configuration emitters of q1 and q2 are connected together and grounded through re 
and grounded through empty resistor re there is a positive feedback there is a positive feedback from emitter to input of q1 here this type of emitter coupled one shot emitter coupled one shot are also known as emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator will have a positive going triggering pulse positive going triggering pulse unlike your previous cases okay assume the stable state as q1 is in off state and q2 is in on state q1 is in off, off state and q2 is in on state see here we have assumed that q1 is in off state q2 is in on state this is the stable state now what happens as there is a flow of current from this particular transistor see from this resistor the current will be flowing to the input of this transistor and this current is flowing to the emitter of this particular transistor q2 and then enters into the re so there is this a loop from vcc through the on transistor through the re and then ground okay this is the actual path when the transistor q2 is in on state and it is having sufficient base to emitter voltage from here to here vbe2 this makes the transistor q2 on sufficiently this is the stable state okay it, this particular state will never be disturbed until and unless we give a positive going triggering pulse to the base of the transistor q1 okay q1 is in off state it it does not have any sufficient input voltage from base to emitter of the first transistor to make this particular transistor on so what we are doing we are giving a positive going pulse whose peak value is above than that of the cut in voltage of the particular transistor q1 so what happens now because of the input voltage at this particular base of the transistor q1 q1 comes into on state when q1 comes into on state how the states are changed see here when q1 comes into on state now the current which has been flown in the previous case like this now the new path of the current is i am just drawing in the red color for the after the application of triggering pulse i am drawing in the red color the current now takes the path from r r vcc r and then this capacitor through the on transistor of q1 and then re it is going like this so then the transistor as the transistor q1 is in on state after the application of triggering pulse pause to trigger okay as the pause to going triggering pulse is applied at the input of the base of the transistor q1 q1 comes into on state and the current will have a changing direction so r c and the on transistor q1 and then it is going to the emitter re and then grounded this is ground n okay now what is happening here the capacitor initially the capacitor does not have any charge across this now capacitor is charging capacitor is charging as long as the capacitor charges capacitor charges and when it reaches the cut in voltage of the transistor q2 then q2 comes into on state again okay this triggering pulse as long as the triggering pulse is applied during this period the states are reversed like q1 comes into on state and q2 comes into off state but this will not be stable this is only for temporary duration this is known as quasi stable state okay so uh, when the triggering pulse is completed again when it goes to zero then the capacitor starts charging charging and then it reaches the v gamma when it reaches v gamma that makes the transistor q2 on again the cases are altered 
okay so now when a false to pulse applied at base of q1 makes q1 on then what happens to the capacitor capacitor c charges and when it reaches v gamma q2 uh, q1 here makes on and q2 off q2 again comes into on state okay this is the process this the state obtained after triggering pulse is known as is that stable state or quasi stable state is known as quasi stable state quasi stable state okay because it is not permanent but whenever the triggering pulse is removed again the states are reversed back and that will be permanent that is stable state okay so this is about the emitter coupled emitter coupled monostable multi vibrator where the emitters are coupled together emitters of these particular transistors are coupled together and produces a stable state but whenever a triggering pulse to going triggering pulse is applied the first transistor comes into on state and second transistor goes into off state but it is for a very short duration again the states were altered because of the existence of capacitance capacitance is there means it is charging so whenever it charges and reaches the uh, cutting voltage then transistor q2 comes into on state okay <coughs> now this is about emitter coupled monostable multivibrator in the next video i will explain about uh, the expression the calculation of expression for the gate width for this emitter coupled monostable multivibrator Thank you.